dear friends i am professor dr v muralidhar orthopedic surgeon uh, practicing from past uh, 20 plus years in a place by name tumko i am practicing in a place uh, which is opposite to gsc bus stand in tumko uh, i have done several videos more than 180 videos uh, in especially regarding orthopedic subjects being orthopedic surgeon of course all i have covered also other general topics also which is very very useful for common public patients right so all of us want to be healthy healthy is wealth all of us know it okay that is my main idea to promote health in the common public and also to create the health awareness and give the medical education required so that they will have a healthy peaceful life that's my intention so i already done more than uh, as i told you more than 180 videos i have done videos in all the three languages kannada being my other tongue i have done several videos in kannada i am doing in hindi as well as english also so I request all of you to please subscribe. Already more than five thousand subscribers are done, so please, you all of you, do subscribe to my channel to increase your awareness regarding health and to improve your health life. Right. So let me talk today about osteoarthritis of the knee. That is the most common condition, knee pain. Right. So as we know, knee pain or osteoarthritis, it's not a disease as such. Okay, it's a degenerative disorder. What do you mean by degenerative? It's an aging process. Okay. So if a person lives to a certain age, definitely each and every person is going to get the knee pain. Okay, that means to say it's because of wear and tear in the joint, there will be a, a degeneration of the articular surface. So once the degeneration occurs, there is erosion of the articular cartilage. I will show you some models also. Please watch full videos. So thereby the raw bone surface gets exposed and that will produce pain. Right? That is called as wear and tearing of the knee joint, the osteoarthritis of the knee joint. Okay. So as I told you. Uh, my hope it will never finish until let's see minimum one case of osteoarthritis knee pain most of the majority of the patients who are elderly who are 60 plus 70 plus 80 plus some people some even even nowadays even patients who are 50 plus also getting a lot of knee pain degenerative osteoarthritis right so it's very very common uh, condition that we see in our day to day practice especially our clinical practice so let me explain you briefly what do you mean by osteoarthritis of the knee what are the symptoms how we diagnose it how we manage it what is the treatment options that are available right so let me show you a few models so that you understand what is the problem the patient is facing right so if you see this right so if you see the model here see this is the normal joint right this is the normal joint okay this is the normal joint this is the articular surface the blue thing no this is the normal articular surface this is how the joint will be there right so under it there will be cart this is the cartilage then there is subchondral bone and this is the bone right so this is a normal joint will be right okay so if you come to pathological part if you if you see osteoarthritic joint if you see here see the joint surface has reduced this blue thing was it is got eroded it got degenerated there is a lot of erosions and the bone is touching on the bone bone almost sitting on the bone and there is a lot of inflammation redness there that is causing the pain so there is a lot of osteo cartilage is broken up there right there will be thinning of the cartilage and bone now uh, bone ends run together see here that's what happens so once the bone sits on the bone when the bone drops to another bone there will be a lot of pain so this is what happens in degenerative changes right there are different stages of degenerative changes what do you know that's the most common presentation is pain in the knee joint and most commonly present in uh, elderly patients out of the pain some patients even do present us with swelling whenever there is a rubbing of the two things there is synovial tissue gets uh, inflamed there is a lot of effusion a lot of excess of synovial fluid gets collected in the joint and the joint swelling even the joint also gets swollen up right so because the swelling is the patient come with the difficulty in walking <clears throat> difficulty in uh, sitting cross legs difficulty to sit for toilet there is a major problem they face they, they are not able to sit comfortably for going let like, especially of the indian type of toilets they are not able to fully bend the knee joint the range of motion of the knee joint is decreased and there is a moment if the patient doesn't get the proper treatment time that will go for deformity also they do out commonly unless varus deformity knee varus deformity knee will get bent like that also. you might have seen elderly patient be walking with wobbling gait like that and even some people will have so much of pain so much of deformity even not they are not able to cross the road imagine the pain and that's the reason most of the patients they won't come out of their house only they won't go they will won't go for any social gatherings they won't attend any functions they won't attend any marriages any other functions mainly they are well there was one my famous patient patient in my local area in tumko she was a great lady with lot of uh, laurels in her and she was the most invited sort of uh, 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 
uh, personality for all the functions. Whenever she used to go, to, she used to send her driver to find out uh, how many steps are there. Because if it is more than eight to ten steps, she used to know there are more than eight steps. I can't, I can't come for the function. That's the amount of problem that causes the knee pain, degenerative knee, knee joint can cause problems to a patient, right? So that that makes patients very very incapable. That cause disability, and there some patients are even depressed. See. You know, they cannot go outside of the house, they cannot go function, they, their social life is totally cut off. They'll get depressed also. This is the amount of problem the, the degenerated knee, the knee pain can cause to the problem, right? To add to the problems of the patient. So I will show you what are the different stages of uh, osteoarthritis so that you will understand the problem better, okay? So let me show you one more model. See, uh, see this is how the normal joint looks, right? This is how the normal joint looks. It's quite, quite healthy, normal joint. So in early stages of the disease, what happens? There is some amount of giving up of the arterial cartilage. The arterial cartilage gets thinned out, and there is some erosions in the joint surface. Early stages will be like this. So what happens? The early stages patients do reduce. They take some painkillers and they avoid going to doctor. That shouldn't be done. And in the early stages like this, you take some. There are some treatment which is uh, which are there to help in the growing of the cartilage, right? We call it as the counterproductive treatment or condo production treatment like uh, you have so many drugs, we have chondritin sulfate, you have glucosin sulfate, you have MSM and so many things which are available which helps in the uh, regeneration of the article surface, right? So this is the stage when the patient should neglect. If the patient neglects that, then what happens? See, this is the stage. You can see here there is wide erosions. They become erosions become much more larger in size. Not only larger, they become much more deeper in size. That's the reason if there is so much of uh, extensive damage to the article surface. If there is such extensive damage to the surface, uh, only painkillers doesn't help you, only cartilage growing uh, tablets, nutritious substitutes, that doesn't help you, right? So we may have to go for what is called as total replacement, we have to replace all of the joint. See, this is what happens when neglect the uh, uh, early stage of disease. Whenever in this stage, if you take proper precautions, like if you uh, take some counterprotective or counterdensis uh, of the, the tablets which in, which uh, increases the densis of the cartilage if you take some drugs or if you take some uh, painkillers timely and if you reduce your body weight that's very very important i have got one of my, one of my patients who was around 120 kg he met with an accident he had uh, uh, a injury he was in icu for about say about two weeks i was not treating him and uh, his body weight came out drastically since he was not taking anything orally his body weight came out drastically and uh, once he and uh, luckily he recovered fully he was said he recovered fully and the weight was reduced so much and after that when he was he had a lot of confidence in me and i asked him he was suffering a advanced osteoarthritis then when i asked him let us go for your knee joints he said no no so after body weight has gone down my body weight has reduced and now there's not much pain. I can walk, walk and uh, maintain my routine activities. I don't want any surgery. So that's the impact of having overweight, right? So if you reduce your body weight and if you avoid standing up in the joint, like standing for long hours, then sitting cross-legged and jogging, running, if you avoid such kind of uh, strenuous weight uh, bearing exercises, uh, skipping all those weight bearing exercises, and if you avoid those weight bearing, if you avoid uh, excess of usage of the joint and the gym, and any condition which puts a lot of load on the knee joint, if you could avoid, that is the, the if you can follow all these things, and if you do some excess to strengthen your quadriceps muscles, the quadriceps is a muscle thigh muscle which is called as power of the thigh. If you strengthen your quadriceps muscle by doing certain excess called as quadriceps drill, I have made some other videos also. Please do go and watch them. What is the quadriceps drill? How to do uh, uh, excess to strengthen your thigh muscle so that. Uh, uh, your uh, knee joint pain will reduce and the stress and strain on the uh, knee joint is also reduced. See, once your quadriceps and thigh muscle is strong enough, uh, you cannot altogether avoid the uh, walking, standing, all those things. You have to walk, you have to, you have to stand, you can't uh, just sit or slide on throughout your life, right? So, if you do, whenever you do those activities, whenever you climb stairs, or whenever you sit down and climb, uh, you sit, stand up from the sitting posture, there is a moment of stress and strain on the knee joint. So, if you strengthen your quadriceps thigh muscles, the load whatever is there to be taken by the thigh muscles. The thigh muscles take up the load, then naturally, automatically, the pressure or the load which it is there on the stress and strain, which is there on the knee joint will reduce, the capsule won't get damaged, the outer surface won't go for degeneration. That's the beauty of doing excess regularly, right? So these are the, some of the symptoms which you get during the osteoarthritis of the knee joint and this how manage. I will show you what are the different stages of osteoarthritis, very, very uh, interesting uh, uh, model. Please go through it, right? See, 
I will show you what happens. See in a grade one, if you see this uh, LT joint, right? If you see this LT joint, see, this is the normal LT joint. This is how it looks, okay? Bones are normal, your joint surface is normal. This is the young, young individuals. This is the normal joint you have, okay? That you can call as normal joint. So when in the next, next stage, what happens? In stage one, what happens? There is some amount of small cracks there, okay? So if you see this, there is uh, uh, the capsule is here, bone is here, the cellular fluid is getting reduced, the cartilage, if you see, there is small cracks which are developing. If you, if you observe carefully, you can watch this. There is small, small cracks, small, small degeneration is occurring in stage one, right? So what happens in, uh, that's what happens in the stage one, right? So what happens in stage two? Okay, in stage two, this is what happens, right? So the cartilage, which was showing small cracks, now it has got eroded. The erosion has increased now, right? This is what happens in stage two, right? Then when you come to stage three, so much more damage for the arterial surface. If you see the, if you compare stage two with stage three, there is much more erosion of the joint surface, right? Much more erosion of the joint surface. Almost the whole of the bone is getting exposed, right? right? So in stage five, what happens? Absolutely, there is no cartilage at all. The bone is sitting on the bone. Huh? When there is no cartilage, the bone sits on the bone like this, and there's a lot of rubbing. So patient is very much disabled. Patient cannot walk around. They cannot sit cross legged There is severe pain. There will be pain even the rest during the rest time also. That's called sort of rest pain. So there will be a lot of problem with the patient, and there will have a lot of sufferings. So this is what happens in the case of osteoarthritis of the knee joint, okay? So symptoms, as I have mentioned already, patient will have pain, patient can present with swelling of the knee joint, patient can present with deformity, patient can present stiffness, patient can present to us with sort of a problem while walking and patients are disabled, they cannot uh, attend their social activities, their social functions are curtained, all these problems they can present with. So coming to the treatment modality, basically you have to see that you would strain your knee joint. So we what we say is avoid standing when you have a chance to sit. Okay, avoid running when you have a chance to walk. Avoid long standing when you have a chance to sit. So use uh, lift whenever possible. Avoid using steps. So basically, what I'm trying to tell is avoid straining the knee joint. So avoid. See, it's like uh, wear and tear of any other vehicle, right? So if you uh, overuse your car or your bike, the tire will get definitely get overused and it will be wear and tear and the tire we have to every three years or five years or so you have to change you have to go for new tire right similarly god has created a joint surface if you overuse it okay in engage what happens whatever the changes whatever the erosions which occur that will get that will get regenerated in young individuals there is a chance for regeneration the growth will occur but after certain age the, the whatever the degeneration occurs the regeneration the rate of regeneration not so much so what happens there is imbalance between the regeneration and degeneration so then what happens, the growth doesn't occur to the extent it gets degenerated. So basically it doesn't see that you don't overuse your knee joint, over hurt your knee joint, okay? I, uh, as I mentioned earlier, all those precautions has to be taken to protect your cartilage, you protect your knee joint, that's the one thing. Second reduction of the weight, that's very, very crucial as I mentioned earlier. Then you can use some uh, physiotherapy modalities like your, there's so many modalities, ultrasound, IFT, one laser therapy is there, so many therapies. Is that you can go for physiotherapy modalities. You can use some uh, a knee cap or a crib bandage or knee braces to support your knee joint. Then you can uh, use some chondro or uh, synthesizing uh, drugs. Okay, there are some drugs, there are some tablets, nutritious tablets. So, what they do is they help in the regeneration of the, the, the cartilage which has got eroded, right? So, there are some drugs, uh, tablets basically, they are like nutrition supplement, you can say. You need to take for quite a long time, maybe three months, six months, or a year or so. So, that will help in the regeneration of the cartilage. Okay. There are some intraortical injections that have come. I have tried with uh, so many injections. By giving injections to the knee joint, they are mainly called as uh, your viscous supplementation therapy, where the viscous synovial fluid is there. No? We, we are basically replacing this uh, this kind of synovial fluid there. And even some patients have even good result with that. Even recently we have, I have tried uh, so many injections called PRP injections. Platelet rich plasma injections also I have tried. And quite uh, promising results have come up, right? So these are the various treatment that is available for uh, osteoarthritis. Most of the times in early stages, definitely we can manage conservative result surgery. The patient has gone for a severe degeneration, as told stage five degeneration where there is no cartilage touch all. Then all of these models may not help the patient. 
that is the case when we advise total knee replacement so as you know total knee replacement is a surgery wherein uh, you will replace both the uh, femoral the thigh part and the leg part tibial part of the damage or articular surface is uh, removed and we put the synthetic uh, implants there right so that is called as total knee replacement that is the surgery which is uh, that should be done the last stage of the uh, disease right so i don't want you to go treat that last stage that is the very reason why i am creating such healthy videos so that uh, you will follow all those steps to summarize you avoid reducing the best way of controlling the weight, uh, weight is to not to get the weight at all whenever you are near 40s or 50s please see that you have got ideal body weight don't uh, eat all the junk food all the, all the sweets and all those nonsense and increase your weight see that you keep your weight under control if you have family history if your parents are suffering from knee joint this are likely that more likely that you can also suffer from the knee osteoarthritis knee degeneration problem so take care of body weight eat healthy food and avoid injuries to knee joint and uh, do exercise regularly right so do exercise which are meant for strengthening of thigh muscles there's a what is called as a static quadriceps exercise there dynamic quadriceps exercise there. i have done one more video to just show you how to do, what are the exercises to be done to protect your knee joint right if you take care of these things and if it is needed if you use some contraindicated drugs and painkillers should be used sparingly whenever required only if you follow all those things definitely you can avoid surgeries in a very interesting stage if you keep controlling of the disease definitely you can have a, a prolonged peaceful pain free life that's very very important once again i wish you healthy wealthy joint take care of your health be healthy and live healthy all the best